Okay, so number four is the last one we have to do in this lesson. So we're going to find the exact value of cosine of u minus v, tangent of u plus v, using this information. Okay, we're also told that both of these angles are in the second quadrant. All right, so for this first one, sine of u is 24 over 25. So second quadrant angles. Remember sine or SOCA TOA. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite side is going to be 24. Your hypotenuse is 25. Um, and then you'll use the Pythagorean theorem to find your other side. So you're going to have 24 squared plus, I'm just going to call this side x squared equals 25 squared. So this is 576 plus x squared equals 625. x squared is 49. x is 7. So this is actually a Pythagorean triple. So this side is going to be 7. Um, it's not one that you might remember like a couple of the others. But OK, so there's that side. OK, now we're going to do the same thing with the cosine. OK, so this is a different angle, OK, but it's also in the second quadrant. Cosine is um, negative 8 over 17, so that's adjacent and hypotenuse. And then again, you're going to find that missing uh, side. So you're going to have 8 squared plus x squared equals 17 squared. And x squared is going to equal 225. Square root of 225 is 15. So that's kind of nice. So, OK, so this side is going to be 15. OK, so this is angle V. And this is angle U. OK, so if we're going to find um, the cosine of U minus V. All right, so we're going to do cosine of U minus V. So let's go back up to our um, patterns here. So cosine of u minus v, cosine u times cosine v, cosine u times cosine v plus sine u times sine v. All right, so cosine of u. Well, so find our, this. so go to that first um, triangle that we set up. That's angle U. So we need to find the cosine of U. So that is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, one thing I didn't do that I should have, this is going to be a negative 7, okay, because um, you're going to the left. So the cosine here is going to be negative 7 over 25 times the cosine of V. Well, we actually were given the cosine of V right here with a negative 8 seventeenths. OK, then plus sine of U. Well, we were given that also. Sine of U is 24 25ths times the sine of V. So go over to your second angle, angle V, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. OK, so you're going to do some multiplication. So 56 
and that's going to be 425 plus 360 over 425 and this is going to be 416 over 425 it won't reduce so that is your um, value of cosine of u minus v okay so that's our first thing taken care of okay our second thing is we're supposed to be finding the tangent of u plus v now notice i changed the I changed the sign okay so cosine we were doing u minus v um, for this next part tangent of u plus v okay so tangent of u plus v so go back to our formulas so we're going to be using u plus v so tangent u plus tangent v tangent u plus tangent v over 1 minus tangent u times tangent v. Okay, so um, now we're going to just go through. So u, same thing. So go back to angle u tangent opposite over adjacent so that's going to be 24 over negative 7 plus tangent v so go to angle v tangent opposite over adjacent so that's going to be 15 over negative 8 and then 1 minus tangent of u which is the 24 over negative 7 times tangent of v, the negative 15 eighths. Okay, so now we've got a good bit of fraction work for us. Okay, um, I'm going to get common denominators. So this one needs 8 over 8. This one needs 7 over 7. Um, this one is going to need 56 over 56. Okay, because once I multiply those two fractions together, I'll have a denominator um, of 56. Okay, so then this becomes 192. Well, it's going to be a negative over 56 plus I'll have a negative on this fraction also um, 105 and then oops I miswrote that that should be a 56 so 56 over 56 minus okay I've got a negative fraction times another negative fraction so that's going to go positive but I'm still subtracting um, that result and that's going to be a 360 over 56 okay so this becomes a negative 297 over 56 and that is a negative 304 over 56 complex fraction um, denominators match so we can get rid of those denominators we have negative divided by negative so that's going to go positive and we have 297 and 300 and four it does not simplify so it doesn't reduce and that is your answer okay that finishes um, this lesson on 5.4